So this is the latest progress on the uh, tracking solar accumulator. It is the um, reflector and it's one, two, three, four, five, six cones. Six that are cut out of a 8x4 a uh, piece of tin plast which is uh, kind of a chloroplast uh, analog. Uh, it's got a slight bounce still so it probably needs maybe two more pieces of bamboo. So it's just bamboo here, it's just tied together. If I tighten that up, that'll be more sturdy. But probably another piece over here and over here would strengthen it up enormously. So it would, uh, if this is set up just as a standalone thing, it would have a three point linkage. Um, so it'd be on something here, here, and this would be for adjusting. Um, you know, uh, the aim of the thing. So, uh, I'll show you what. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I have these little pieces, these are just cut from a plastic paint can, just to hold it uh, together. Uh, I'll show the back of it. So, there's duct tape and there's packing tape, and it didn't work. It slowly slips. Uh, it that was a failure, and um, so I've got these little strips. They're three inches by about an inch or three quarters of an inch that I cut from a plastic paint can. And anyway, there it is. So it's raining right now. Anyway, I'm going to bring it up to the next part of the thing. Get this done in, in one shot. So a little. Let me try to move it around. It weighs uh, just under seven pounds, so uh, about three kilos, or just under three, three kilos. So it's not very heavy, and it's coated with mylar. And uh, I used uh, wheat paste, which is wheat flour in uh, to stick it on uh, wheat flour and water uh, anyway this is the this is the thing that it would be in potentially but I'll, I'll probably do it a different way this is a bit high anyway when I made it this is the angle where I'm at I'm going to stand back a bit further this is the angle where I am at, which is about uh, what, 48 degrees, so going that way it's 48 degrees. And I made this to put the reflector in to have it on equatorial mount. And obviously it's pretty darn high, um, darn high I mean. Anyway, so this is up uh, over six feet. The focus, if it was up like that, would be at about... Um, 160, uh, 1.6 meters, so it's pretty high up, which would make it safe for people, and it would be rotating on the equatorial mounting. So the other thing, so that's it, like that. Now the red um, boom handles, they mark if you cut down in size, if you cut off those which are about uh, three feet by two and a half, so you would lose some of your um, your reflector capacity but it would it drops it down about two feet so um, 60 centimeters lower and uh, it, it would be rotating on one point here and this would be on something um, up above that you could uh, access it for whatever you're putting in there which could be sterling or fridge or whatever Anyway, I'll just show you this. So this is a uh, four foot level. So you'd, you'd gain, you'd be able to drop this down two feet. So your reflector, or sorry, instead of being, uh, instead of being here, your focal point would be down there. So focal point would be about here 
if we dropped everything down instead of using this so that would be much more reasonable I might do that um, but anyway I'm just going to try one more thing size see it would just it just fits in oh I can't show you and it would actually in this configuration it won't fall over in this configuration be up like this if you can see that be up like that in here, too much junk in the way, but this is what it would look like. And see, I'd have to just clip off maybe, maybe this portion here, maybe this portion here, and it would fit under the red. It would just fit under. So you'd be losing about four or five square feet. So this, the SK14 uh, solar cooker is uh, it's actually 1.5 square meters of uh, reflector surface. This is uh, I think 1.6 or 1.7. So this is actually bigger than the SK14. So you know, for something that you can make from corrugated plastic and uh, mylar, it's has lots of potential and um, here I've got one two one long one and two four short pieces of bamboo I'd need to do it properly I'd need at least another two short pieces of bamboo and this would be uh, a point for um, you have the pivot point here the focus is down in the middle of that string. Anyway, oops. I'm going to stop here now. So there it is. So I'm thinking, debating using something completely different than this. This is big. The reason for using the frame was to get accuracy because you're going to be mounting the top on something and the bottom on something. So we get a good link on it. Well, I'm going to do something else now. You could also mount it on something like this. This rotates easy. You just put it up at your uh, 48 degrees, uh, pointing north, and um, you'd have your some sort of wheel for turning it here, and you would have a Y shaped attachment here your uh, this uh, your cooking vessel would be on something up here and you'd have your y-shaped attachment I'll quickly do the y-shape here uh, so this would be at uh, end of the string at one side, or end of the short string on one side, this would be at end of the short string on the other side, and you'd have one more attachment for to go to here for adjusting it up and down with the seasonal adjustment. Anyway, uh, it's way too quick, but that's it. Uh, this is going to be on the video. Thank you.